Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all burnout games for this Nintendo GameCube. The first burnout game ever released was pretty basic. It didn't quite have the action for which we love burnout today. It had the cool elements for which the burnout series is known for, but it feels as if the elements were only seeds that only with later titles bloomed into the explosive action game 3 Burnout is known for. As I said, the first game was pretty basic. It has some game modes, but they mostly feel the same. You get 9 cars in total and 16 tracks. The game also includes the famous boost meter, which you fill up by driving dangerous. And the game was one of the few of its time to have traffic. And you know what happens when there are lots of cars around. They crash. The trademark of Burnout is born. But in the first game the crashes aren't that exciting. The cars still behave like toys. The cars don't bend or contort that much like in later titles. They just swing around a little. It's still awesome for that time, but looking at the game now, the effects aren't as impressive as they used to be. Ok, so I want to draw some conclusions with the first game. That it's a great game that is fairly fun to play even today. Though, considering how much the franchise progressed and bloomed, now the game is good more only for novelty reasons, to find out where the franchise started. It's like returning to the first light bulbs. Sure, they did the job back then, and they will still do the job now, but today's ones shine brighter and do a better job. And from Burnout 2, the franchise started to look more like today. They improved every aspect of the game and made the jump from a generic arcade racer to an explosive experience that will remember your whole lifetime. The game has personality now. The generic cars look better and the tracks got a major facelift. There are so many facts and details and the effects and details are not only on the tracks, they are on the crashes too. Now the cars don't just tumble and slightly bend, no, now you can see car parts flying around, cars contorting and bending, and the loose car controls you had in the first game are gone. Now the cars control way nicer, you have more control on the vehicles. And the tracks are more varied, they don't look that generic anymore, they look more exciting, and there's more variety in the color palette too and in the effects, having stuff like snow or rain. And you get more game modes too, like for example the one where you have to cause mayhem for the biggest score. For me, this mode is the best. It's called Crash. And you have to do exactly what the name says. Crash into stuff to cause mayhem. You also get a pursuit mode, where you play as a cop and have to take down racers. Also the takedown as we know in Burnout, wasn't invented yet. So you end up bumping into racers until they eventually crash, they even have a health bar. Or you just park in front of them and that counts as a continuous hit. Anyway, Burnout 2 Point of Impact is a fantastic game and it gets closer to the masterpiece Burnout is known for. And as I said, the game is fantastic. But it's not a masterpiece yet. But unfortunately for the GameCube, no new Burnout games were released after this two. Which means that the GameCube doesn't have the masterpieces Burnout 3 or Burnout Revenge. It only has the first two. Which are good, but they pale in comparison to Burnout 3 or Burnout Revenge. The PlayStation 2 has 5 Burnout games. It's too bad that the GameCube didn't get as many, and especially the masterpieces. If you want to see the review of all PlayStation 2 Burnout games for all of the 5 games, you have a card in the top of the screen and a link to the video in the description. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. 
And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.